Hello VFX people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja. We are discussing baking flipbooks and materials. Moving on to the Ninja Tools level, going full screen, press play, loading the Fluid Ninja module and picking a nice preset, in this case a waterfall. Have a look at the graphical user interface and this panel called bake or baking. We have a few options here, let's talk about these. Uh, these three buttons are stopping and continuing the simulation and the big red button is actually uh, starting the baking process. What is that we are baking? Well, uh, in the output density viewport you could see it is a real-time fluid simulation driven by particles. You could define the frame range, 32 frames looks fine to me. Uh, you could type in a name for it. If you don't type a thing it will randomly generate a number. But anyway, it's going to be called waterfall 1. Um, this is the distance between the frames. I would say let's uh, record every third frame. Loop back is basically um, defining how we connect the end of the recorded sequence to the beginning of the recorded sequence. Uh, it's like fading the end to the beginning. And I'm providing the same number as the frame range. This is going to be like a smooth perfect loop. Uh, let's just test the thing and I will explain the other two options later on. So I press the record button. Please notice that new uh, graphical user interface panels will pop up showing uh, baking specific options. Plus I advise you to have a look at the status uh, bar here because uh, anytime you do, do file operations, you record or move something, uh, you have a notice what is happening. So I'm pressing record. Here you could see the 32 frames recorded and here uh, is already a preview version of the baked sequence playing here and it is advantageous and it is below the real-time simulation that is still running as you could see output density and here's the baked sequence so you could compare the two things. Uh, there is only a very limited uh, number of parameters that could, you could set here uh, for example play speed may I say I would set it to 1. Uh, you see it's a, it's a bit flickery now and I'm telling you why because it is uh, 32 frames but if I uh, switch on uh, velocity based interpolation suddenly it is becoming much smoother. The thing is that Fluid Ninja is using uh, the recorded velocity data to, to blend between the frames so you could actually do super slow motion with very few frames. But anyway getting back to the normal speed uh, we have this thing here and this, these are the most important parameters. First, uh, let's say I don't particularly like this version and for some reason I would like to record another one and I could do this as many times as I would like to just pressing the record button and don't forget to change the name otherwise it will pop you an overwrite uh, error message. So pressing the record button again we have recorded something significantly different because uh, the whole thing is driven by random particles it is non-deterministic so you could record uh, a different sequence every time you just press the record button and you could repeat this until you're, you you have figured out ah, here's the message <laughs> until until you find that uh, the thing is, is satisfactory let's say uh, this is something I'm, I'm satisfied with and I would like to save it for, for uh, later use when I quit Ninja and I would like to put it into my scene so I say mark baked data for save yep in the status message I could say this, this has been marked and a, a texture asset has been uh, recorded on disk until now it was only in the memory and I'm also exporting materials this is a basic material and this is just uh, to preview the thing outside Ninja and this is an advanced material this is that we normally use uh, 
to pull the baked data into our scene. So uh, texture saved, materials saved, and we could quit Ninja and see what we have uh, recorded, what we have outside Ninja, okay? So I'm quitting Ninja. Here we are in the editor. And I'm going to the output folder. And here are uh, the new files that we have recorded. Waterfall 2. So um, this is the, um, the 32 frames uh, flip book that we have recorded. Uh, these, this is the velocity map that we have recorded. Uh, this is the basic preview material here. And uh, yeah, it's basically just to check out how, how this thing works. And here's, here's the advanced material. Advanced material is not just uh, Opacity and alpha strength and stuff like that, but you could you could colorize things and you could make color gradients, uh, change the play speed, enable uh, heat distortion, and all this kind of stuff. We're gonna talk about this in details later on. Now I'm just closing these panels and returning to Ninja because there are a few more things that need to know about baking yep <laughs> so uh, I'm going to the ninja config module and have a look at this uh, uh, in case if you would like to export PNG you could define an external path uh, otherwise normally the whole thing uh, the things that you are baking, materials and textures, are going to be saved as Unreal assets inside Unreal. So um, it's basically um, the root of the game and there's this folder called Output. You could, you could change this and save the preset and then Ninja is going to export the whole thing to a different folder. And you could define um, if we are using gamma correction or not during saving you could define what kind of compression uh, we should use when we are saving. These are um, important when you are doing loads of textures and you would like to set up a default uh, for you. Well, um, yeah, you have seen textures, materials, and uh, let's don't forget about the fact that we are able to bake velocity fields as well. I mean vector fields to drive GPU particles, but let's talk about that in a different chapter. Well, uh, that's all for now. Thank you and see you next time.